Yes. Hi. I believe that um, you worked at the laundry here at Croon Bay. Aye, that's right. Just speak in the Doric, will I? Oh, please, speak in the Doric. <laughs> there you go. Right, Bessie, uh, when did you start work at uh, the hotel? At the laundry? Yes. Uh, when I left the school at 14, that's what that nearly everybody did. So, Aye. 14. Yes, I tried. So what were the working I... conditions like? How long did you work and holidays, all that sort of thing? Uh, we, we started at seven o'clock and finished at six at night. And then on a Saturday, it was seven to twelve, I think. Right. Holidays? Oh, no, holidays. Just a local holiday. It was at you got. What sort of pay were you? Well, I'm just trying to think. I think it was about, it was either seven and six a week or ten bob a week. Did you keep that or did you have to give it to Granny? Oh, no, you just handed it over. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you handed it over. Are your hard earnings, earnings, you had to, you had to hand it over to somebody else. <laughs> what, what was life like in the laundry at the Great Railway Hotel? Oh, it was good, and Abdi came to Abdi else, you see, because it was our locals. And then I was the engineers, and my father worked in the summertime there. And uh, he he was one of the ones in the summertime that uh, drove the... What did you call it? Sam car. Aye. I never knew do you remember the tram car? Aye, fine. That's what I'm telling you. They were, uh, and I was, Davy Nicholson was another uh, driver, and Andy, well, I've forgotten his name now. Did you ever have a hard in the tram, in the tram car? No, no, Did no. No, it was just for the toffs coming off of the train. Did you see any of the toffs coming off the train? Never saw them coming off the train, but I saw them in the golf course, and they used to come down the village. Did you you carried? I carried for the Sir Jeremiah Coleman. <laughs> oh my lord! We have a woman here who has carried carried for. Just say that again. Say that again. Oh my god! I I carried. <laughs> I carried for Sir Jeremiah Coleman. What was he like? Half a mean. They called they <laughs> called him a cat. What's his name? I can't I can I can uh, spell that. But on him it was half a mean. It was one in nine. One in nine for a the golf course the golf. Morning and afternoon, and then after that they could be a tip, but he was half a greedy and a kind of a cat. Did you meet any other well-to-dos that came to the big railway hotel? Well, I was, I was men that used to come for the cabinet, but I forgot their names now. The cabinet. Mm -hmm. I the. Baldwin. Government mm -hmm. uh, for London. Baldwin would that have been winner? Oh no, no, I have for my time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's right, uh, uh, Did you not tell me that you used to get up when you were a teenager to look through the window to see the dresses? Oh, we did that. That was a big ball up in the hotel, mm -hmm. and they used to come downstairs. That's ah, uh, that's fluent long dresses, and they used to come to the window and give us sweeties and that. Uh, that was uh, about September time, just the end of the summer. And how old would you have been then when you were doing that? Mm, oh, I can't have that. Uh, 
Oh, well, at the end, it was just, yeah, I think just at the end of the war. Just at the beginning of the war, ah, sorry. So that late aye. teens, aye. Eh? Late teens. Yes, aye, aye, aye. Mm -hmm. aye. They were good. They used to come down the village and give sweeties and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But the people who came to the Great Railway Hotel? Aye. They used aye. to come down to the village? Oh yes, they mixed with the villagers. And I used there. to be a fancy dress ball in the, in the hut in the hall here. And I was dressed up as a fisher wifey. And I got the first prize and it was a lovely string of no, amber would it have been, mm -hmm. they were orangey yellow, mm -hmm. they were really lovely. And that was for Lady McClintock. The McClintocks came, Lord and Lady McClintock. No, I can't imagine the other ones I do. Right, <coughs> when you lived in Cruden Bay, far did you bide? I, I bed in a new block. Well, but you were born... One Harbour Street. I was born in Harbour Street, doing it to Harbour there, but my mum and dad moved out. I would have just been a baby, I think. And it was our, in the new block at that time. I was folk lived in the bottom flat and then at the top flat. And we were on the top, and the woman underneath us, she was a little like a she sold stamps and I think she ran off crater, we called her granny. And then her daughter was the postmistress. And she used to take me up to the castle. When I, you weren't allowed to go unless, you know, you was with somebody that had authority. And she used to take me around the gardens and they were just beautiful. And then I can remember the castle when they were giving it up, the kind of roof and that thing off. And the, all the villagers, well, a lot of the villagers get up and they were selling sticks. You bought a bag of sticks. It was coming for the castle. Oh, nothing. Here we go. <laughs> 